Wutwa family, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Mr. Wutwa, and today, 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 hey, yo, skirt, skirt, man, check this out. All right, we have some important um, news today. Uh, it's about Kashmir and what's going on in Kashmir. So, let's go ahead and get into it, but before we get started, if you have any tips or anything that we can do as a family, as a Wutwa family, to, um, to help with this situation, please get down in the comment section and let us know. All right, let's get into it. So... For a lot of you that don't know, what's going on in Kashmir? Here's what you need to know. The Indian government revoked the region's special status to widespread shock and panic. Experts break it down for us. On Monday, August 5th, the Indian government announced its decision to divide and replace the Muslim majority state of Juma and Kashmir into union territories, essentially erasing it. The announcement came alongside plans to revoke Article 370, which guarantees certain conditions for the state of Kashmir, the ability to govern autonomously in all areas except defense, communication, and foreign policy. The ruling Bharati Janet Party announced a presidential decree without consulting Kashmir state's legislate. While, while keeping Kashmir citizens under a communication blackout, cutting phones, internet, and TV access, wow, prominent Kashmiris were placed under arrest. 10,000 extra military personnel were deployed to the region with a Further, 25,000 ordered to arrive this week while tours from other parts of the country were directed to leave. Kashmir is a Himalayan region bordering China, Pakistan, India, and Tibet, with around two-thirds of it controlled by India and the other third by Pakistan. It has long been the subject of territorial dispute and separatist insurgencies and residents against India rule in Jammu and Kashmir has raised for 30 decades. This recent move by the government has surprised political commentator, commentators, people on the ground and the rest of the world as the complex turbulent relationship between Kashmir and India lies in the state. Okay, so Let's see what experts have to say. It is simply another form of colonization for us. The executive director of the Justice Foundation tells us even our assumptions aside, the way they revoke Article 370 means any protection we had, even though it was temporary, is now out the window. A spokesperson for the South Asia Solitary Group who organized recent protests and vigils in London echoes the care. It's very similar to how Palestinians have pushed into corners of which was once a whole of their country. Oh, okay. So <clears throat> we have to understand how old is this fight, basically. It says Kashmir is ethically diverse Himalayan region covering around 86,000 square feet and famed for its beauty of its lakes, meadows, and snow-capped mountains. Okay, even before India and Pakistan won their independence from Britain in August 1947, the area was hotly contested. Under the partition plan provided by the Indian Independence Act, Kashmir was free to accede to either India or Pakistan. So, a war erupted and India approached the United Nations action to intervene. The United Nations recommend holding a public seat to settle the question of whether the state would join India or Pakistan. However, the two countries could not agree to the deal to demilitarize the region before the referendum could be held. And guys, I apologize. It's, it's you know, it's... I'm, I'm only human. There's some big words in there that I couldn't pronounce, but so, so it's, it's, it's a war. It's a war between two countries that want whether ownership of this, of this place. 
Okay, let's 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 go ahead and dive a little bit deeper and let's look at this video where it says it's, it's talking about inside Kashmir, the Indian that India does not want the world to see. All right, let's check this out. It's Friday on the streets of Kashmir's largest city. It's the day Muslims normally gather to pray. But in recent weeks, it's also become a day of protest. Indian authorities are working hard to keep a lid on displays like this. But they can't change how people feel. There is only one solution. One solution, one solution. There is only one solution. One solution, one solution. As protests break out across Kashmir, Indian officials repeat what has become a well-worn soundbite. There has been no major law and order situation reported from across the valley. Life is slowly returning to normal. And the situation is uh, returning back uh, slowly uh, to the normal. But things here don't seem normal. Okay guys, I want y'all to get in the comment section. Let me know what you guys feel about the situation. Um, they're saying that they're taking away internet, cell phones, things of, of things that can basically social media and, and data. So the information that's going on in there, they're having they're they're basically trying to stop it from being seen in the world, is what I'm saying. So guys, I want y'all to get in the comment section, let me know what y'all think. Um it's, it's, it seems like it's a battle between two countries that want control over over Kashmir. And I'm thinking that Kashmir, whether wants to become its own or it does not want to lose its rights. And it seems like there's a, there seems like these countries are trying to take away its rights. So guys, get down in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think. Other than that, it's your boy, Mr. Watwa. I will see you guys tomorrow. Why? Because I post videos every day. Guys, please play, pray. Please pray, make dua for Kashmir. Stay safe. See you guys tomorrow.